Hi guys. Um, do I look like complete garbage? Especially my hair? Yes. But do I care? Also, yes, kind of a lot. Uh, I already filmed one video today, which is why I probably look similar outfit-ish wise. And by outfit, I mean a tank top I've had for like 20 years. But I was feeling a little moody and I wanted to film this video. And it is my first ever anti-haul which I'm excited for. So I basically went to Sephora.com, not sure if you've heard of it. I went to the just arrived page and basically looked at what has just been added to the site, went through, picked some things that gave me some sort of reaction. Like there's plenty more on the site that I was just like, eh, don't even care one way or another. But I picked the things that I had an opinion on and I thought we would go through them today. So let's get started. The first thing is from Patrick Star's new makeup brand called One Size, which I think is a really cool name. And I'm super excited for this launch. I'm su super excited for his brand to come out. I'm sure he's going to have amazing things. However, the first thing that he came out with is two products. One is a go off makeup dissolving mist, which is super innovative and interesting. And the other is go off juiciest makeup remover wipes. Now, truthfully, I am a little bit intrigued by the makeup wipes because I do use makeup wipes more than I wish I did. I really like the blue pack Neutrogena ones. And so I would be intrigued, especially the name juiciest makes me think these are nice and moist which is what I look for in a makeup wipe. So I would definitely, if I got these for free, I'd be excited and I'd wanna try them. However, this is an anti-haul and I will not be buying them. Also they're $15, which is not crazy pricing, but it's more than I wanna spend. Will not be purchasing these, but excited for the brand, excited to see what else they come out with. Next is from Natasha Denona. This is the bronze eyeshadow palette and a little bit of mixed feelings here. This looks like an awesome palette at first glance. I wish I could swatch it. I'm sure we all wish we could go into Sephora and swatch things. There's a lot of colors in here that are right up my alley. I love warm browns. I love gold shimmers. However, it's $65 and the price has a lot to do with my decision on not to purchase it. But even more than that, I'm a little bit turned off because there are quite a few shades that look like unnecessary. I've even seen reviews on this palette and like I said, they've just said that yes, it's good and yes, the quality is very nice. However, there's shades in there that didn't need to be in there. They're too similar to some of the other shades. I don't know, you can kind of tell by looking at it. So because of that, I will not be purchasing this. Another palette is, it's actually been out for a little while now, but it's still on the Just Arrived page at Sephora. This is from Urban Decay, and this is the Naked Ultraviolet Eyeshadow Palette. Now, when I first saw this on like Instagram before it had even launched, I was like, all right, like this is actually pretty, pretty looking. And I expected most people's reaction to be excited for this palette. I don't know, you ever see a, a makeup item and you're like, oh, I wonder what other people are thinking. And if I would have predicted, I would have said that other people would have been really excited for this because it looks very different. It looks more exciting. It's not boring looking. However, I don't feel like people were that excited for this. And I certainly am not excited for it now that I have seen reviews on this product. Although in the picture, the shades do look pretty, I've just like the swatches I've seen. And like I said, the reviews, they do not look super vibrant. They do not look super pigmented. And I will be damned if I spend $49 on a palette that is not like super creamy, rich, pigmented shadows. Like I'm just not doing it. Okay, so this is a brand new Sephora favorites set. You know how they come out with favorites like skincare or SPF or bronzer. Like they come out with like kits of things. Sometimes they do a really good job with these and this one I was intrigued by. However, not gonna buy it. This is a Give Me Some Shine Balm and Gloss Lip Set. What this comes with is it looks like a Fenty Beauty Gloss that looks that is full size and it's the color I don't have. This is the one in the shade 
Fussy, which is the pink one, which, ooh, I really love the name Fussy, and also I love that shade. It comes with a mini size of the Too Faced lip injections, clear it looks like which i'm just not into the lip injections at all i mean i don't mind a little mintiness but i do not want any stinging sensation on my lips and those are pretty intense then there's a lip gloss from patrick ta which is like a light nudie peach shade looks really pretty i would actually like to have that then there's a NARS Balm, which looks pretty, although I don't know if I've seen really like raving reviews on those or anything like that. And then there's a mini of the Lancome Juicy Tubes, which used to be really popular. I've never tried. I'd be intrigued to try, but basically if I wanted every single thing that was in here, I would probably buy it because it's $29, which is supposedly an $84 value. I don't know how you can put in a value on like sample size things unless they're sold as sample size, which most of these aren't, I don't know. But regardless, I think it is a good value, especially for the two products that you're getting full size. However, like I said, I definitely don't want the Too Faced lip injections. I don't really care about the Juicy Tubes. I don't really care about the NARS one. It's just, I don't care enough about the products that I am wanting to buy it. Next is skincare. This is from Drunk Elephant, which is a brand that I really respect and admire. This is the Erase Milky Micellar Water. Okay, didn't know that the word milky was in it. Now I'm a little bit more intrigued. It also says three ceramide blend wild melon seed oil. So, okay, I added this on here because I was like, $28 for a micellar water? Like, please tell me, Drunk Elephant, what technology you have in this micellar water that would make somebody need to spend $28. I'll wait. Like, seriously, what are you saying? I use the Garnier Fructis micellar waters. They're not like $2. They're still like $9, $8. But way less than 28. So, I mean, I am a little bit more intrigued, like I said, because it says milky, like, ooh, what's the consistency? But I just, I doubt that this does something physically to your skin that a regular ass micellar water can't do. You know what I mean? Like, what's the difference? So, definitely passing. This definitely intrigues me, and I bet people are going to be excited about this. This is from Iconic London, which have they always been sold at Sephora? I know I've seen them sold at the Morphe store, but I don't know if I've ever seen them literally sold at Sephora. And this is their brand new sheer blush. So it looks like it's almost in like a lip gloss squeeze tube, and it's a sheer blush. Now, love the packaging, love the display. I love the colors. However, I'm just not quite into cream liquid blushes. I mean, I also haven't tried that many, but I haven't tried that many because it doesn't really draw me in that much. Again, if somebody gave it to me for free, I'd be like, okay, cool. Let's try this out. But literally in my lifetime, I've maybe, maybe tried like two cream blushes and I just was like, they're fine. But who knows, this could be amazing, this could be great. I know a lot of people are into cream products right now. This retails for $25, which is kind of expensive, but probably a fair price for this brand. So I'll be interested to see what other people think on YouTube and things like that, but this is just not in my realm of something I want. Next is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Ultra Hydrating Fine Mist, and this is from Dominique Cosmetics and JD Wadey 180 who don't know who that is, have heard the name before, never watched her. But I mean, an ultra hydrating fine mist for 32 dead gone dollars. This is another thing where I'm like, what could this possibly do for me or anyone that would justify a $32 cost? I mean, trust me, like I like high-end stuff. I'm very intrigued by certain high-end things. I've spent money on facial mists and setting sprays and stuff where it was probably completely unnecessary. But this is just something that I'm like, this should be like $24 in my opinion. And that's coming from someone who has done no research on this product at all. It should definitely be $24. I don't know, $32, doesn't that seem like a lot? I mean, I did see Nicole Guerrero on Instagram saying really good things about it, but isn't she friends with Dominique? So like, I'm not saying she's a liar, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, moving on, not getting it. Okay, another thing from Iconic London. This says coming soon, available in stores in September, end of September actually, but it looks like it's available online now. This is a lip plumping gloss. I don't need this and I'm not gonna buy it, especially it's $26. 
However, the packaging of this and the nude pinky shades that they have are intriguing. Like, I definitely had a reaction when I saw this. I was like, ooh, really looks nice. Just, it's just the packaging and the color of the first shade in the shade Not Your Baby Lightest Pastel Pink. That just looks, that's like drawing me in. But no, I have enough glosses, I'm not getting it. All right, this is something that I was like, no. And this is from Jouer Cosmetics. This is their Champagne and Macaroons face palette. So they do have two shades. And this is basically highlighter, two blushes, and a bronzer for each palette. And it's $34 each. The price doesn't really bother me, but I'm just not, like looking at the swatches, I'm just like, no. Like, also the packaging looks kind of cheapy and like, I don't, something about it, I'm like, mm. I'm glad it's cardboard for the environment. I don't need it to be plastic, but just something, let me know what you guys think. Something about the packaging, I'm just looking at it and I'm like, I'm not excited. It's a definite no from me. Okay, then we have another really expensive product. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Matte Bronzer. This looks real pretty. Okay, there's four shades and it looks like the lightest shade is pretty light and the darkest shade is pretty dark. So I'm happy about that. Not sure if four shades is enough to get the job done for literally everyone, but I'm happy to see it's not just one shade for white people and that's it. That being said, it is $55. The packaging is stunning. I uh, do not need any more matte bronzers. Like if I were to buy a bronzer right now, it would be a glowy as hell bronzer. It's kind of something that I have like my sights set on at the moment, just because like I said, I'm happy with the matte bronzers that I currently have. So especially for $55, I will not be adding another one to my collection. Another product that I'm intrigued by, but hesitant. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin High Coverage Multi-Use Concealer, and it's $27. I have tried the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin not in years. I actually should, like again, I wish I could go to Sephora and get a sample and try it again, because I have not used it in so long. But when I did use it, I remember loving it. I loved the coverage. I loved the staying power. I loved how matte it was, and it was matte. That's the thing that's holding me back from um, being more intrigued by this like the packaging is like good I like the big doe foot seems like it has a lot of shades I love makeup forever as a brand so much but the fact that it's called matte velvet I'm worried that this would be too matte and I don't need something like an oil slick underneath my eyes but I definitely don't want something that's too drying so I'm ugh, I'm gonna hold off Plus, I just bought a drugstore concealer that's coming in the mail in a few days. I'm excited. You guys, you guys will see in a video coming up, but not gonna buy this, but I do, you know, stand by everything I just said. Okay, only three more products here. This is another setting spray. This one is from Huda Beauty, and this is the Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. This is $35, which, holy shit. The reason why I am not getting this is because her first setting spray that she came out with, I never bought it because the reviews were horrific, but I did go into stores and spray it like on my hand, spray it in the air so I could smell, like see what everybody was talking about because the smell is legitimately hairspray. It actually may be hairspray in general, just put into a face setting mist bottle because the smell and also the formula, like a lot of people said that it did make your makeup last, which hairspray will make your makeup last too. It's just like way too potent, way too strong. The smell was like in literally intoxicating. So I am very like turned off by Huda Beauty setting spray thoughts. So I don't know, there's only four reviews on this and it has five stars, only four though. But each one I read each review and they were like nice light coconut smell. So maybe she, I don't wanna say learned her lesson, but maybe she listened to the reviews and was like, all right, we gotta tone it down and this would be nice. I like the idea, it looks like it's an aerosol can, which I do like, $35, holy shit, once again. However, I don't know, maybe she, she kind of, listened and you know lowered the scent level for this one and that would be great maybe i'll try it out in the future but i just i cannot do that right now okay next is just like what are we doing actually the next two products are literally what are we doing this is from amika this is the hair blow dryer brush and this everybody 
is $100. Now, the reason why this is in here is because I have actually been looking at, I think it's a Revlon one that a lot of people have talked about on YouTube before. It literally looks exactly the same as the Samika one. Like I see no difference. Have I tried either of them? No, so I can't really say anything, but this is just me talking to you as a consumer. I was about to buy the Revlon one and still might, and it's for like 40 to $50 on Amazon, which is still kind of expensive, but 40 to $50, why the hell? Seriously though, why the hell would this be $100? What? Like, honestly, the audacity. I just, I don't understand, like, prove to me the technology is worth 50 more dollars than the exact same product. That just pisses me off. <laughs> I don't know. Watch, people are gonna try this now and be like, this is literally so much better than the Revlon one. Who knows, but my first thought is like, how dare you? Okay, and the last product that is literally what are we doing is from Beauty Counter, everybody. This is, the, the product doesn't matter. This is a Counter Plus All Bright C Serum, and literally the product does not matter. I'm upset because Beauty Counter is a multi-level marketing company. I don't know if you guys are like me and literally obsessed with anti-MLM content of all kinds, especially YouTube videos, but I'm obsessed, like it's how I start my day, okay? I've thought about making videos myself on anti-MLM stuff just because I'm super passionate. You guys can look into it yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments. Go do your own research. I'm not gonna get into it here, but I do not want to support an MLM, like obviously if I'm anti. So why, I mean, I don't need to ask why Sephora is bringing this brand in. I think this is a temporary thing. The reason why is money, but still like, I just don't like this. I don't like this idea at all. I do not want this company to be legitimized by being in Sephora. I could go on and on, but I'm just disappointed. It's not that I'm mad, I'm disappointed and you guys should be too. Okay, and that is everything for this video. Please, like I've said throughout the entire thing, let me know what you think in the comments below. Other things for you to do, click the thumbs up button, really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel, really appreciate that too. And honestly, just really appreciate you being here. I love you for it. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in my next one. Okay, bye.